So then my friends, now we're at the stage where we need to make a details page for each one of these different projects. So if we click on one, we see a details page for that project. Now, since we have six projects, we're gonna need six details pages, one for each project. Now, I guess what we could do is make all of those pages individually, manually inside the pages folder using a separate file for each one, but that would be overkill. And it means every time that we add a new project to our data, a new markdown file, we're also gonna to need to make a new page component for it, which is very time consuming. And it also means that if we ever change the design of that details page, then we're gonna to have to rewrite every page component from scratch that we have. Again, very time consuming. So it would be much better if Gatsby could somehow generate pages for us for each of these different projects that we have. And then if we ever add more projects in the future, Gatsby could then maybe auto generate a page for that as well. And it can do that. Generating pages is a part of the core functionality of Gatsby, and it's gonna be our focus for the next few lessons. So the first step in all this is to make a template file for our pages that we want Gatsby to generate. Now a template file is a bit like a page component, just like this, it's still a React component and it dictates how a certain page will look and behave, but it can be used by Gatsby to generate many pages, not just one page, a page for each item of our data. In our case, Gatsby will eventually use the template to generate six pages for us, one for each of our projects. So we don't create our templates inside the pages folder right here, instead we create a new folder inside the source folder called templates and then we can create our template components inside here now what I'm going to do is create a new file and I'm going to call this project hyphen details.js because this is going to be a template for a project details page right so like I said this is going to be very much like a page component so I'm going to create a new functional components and I'm going to call this project details camel case all right then, so let's flesh out this template. The first thing I'm gonna do is replace this div with our layout component. I'm gonna click on this to auto import it right here as well. Then inside this, I'm gonna do a div to surround our content. We're gonna give a class to this later on so we can style it. Then I'm gonna do an H2, and this is where we're gonna dynamically output the title. I'm just gonna put the literal text title there for now, and then an H3. This is where we're gonna output the stack, but again, I'm just gonna literally write stack right here so we know where to output it later on when we grab the data. Then I want a div which is gonna surround my image. So down here, I'm gonna use the image component. So again, we need to import that. So up here, I'm gonna say import, and it's gonna be IMG from Gatsby image right here. So now we can use that image component and by the way, the image we're gonna output here is gonna be this thing right here, the featured image, and we have that inside the images folder inside featured, all right? So it's one of these things. It's like a little banner for each one of the projects. Okay, so this image tag right here needs to have a fluid property. Now, obviously we can't output a value for this at the minute because we've not grabbed any data, but we'll do that later on. For now, we just have this image component. We'll leave it at that. Now down at the bottom, underneath the image, I'm gonna output the HTML. So we need a div for this as well. Now, the way we do this in React is first of all, just using a single div that self closes, and then we can add a prop called dangerously set in HTML. So let me just output this first, dangerously set in a HTML. I just need to make sure I've spelled this correctly dangerously set in HTML. Yeah, I think that looks right. Okay, so this is how we output some HTML dynamically in a div in React. It's called dangerously because React wants you to know that this is potentially dangerous and it can lead to cross-site scripting attacks if your data is compromised. So that's just what it's called, but it's gonna be fine in our case. We're gonna output the HTML that we get from these markdown files. All right then, so now I also want to create a style sheet for this as well. So I'm gonna come into the styles folder and I'm gonna create a new file here and that is gonna be called project-details.module.css. All right then, so now we have a style sheet as well 
And what I want to do is import that style sheet over in this component. So let me do that at the top, import styles from, and then it's going to be dot dot forward slash, then into the styles folder. Then we want project hyphen details dot module dot CSS. All right then. So now we can use these styles inside this template. So what I'm going to do is give a class name to this div that surrounds everything. So class name, and I'm going to set that equal to styles, then dot details. Now that class doesn't exist yet, but we will create it in there in a second. And then also I'm going to give this a class name down here. Class name is equal to styles dot featured. Again, we're going to create that class in a second. All right, so let's go in here and I'm just going to paste in some styles. So we have the details class. We're styling the H2, first of all, which is the title. And all we're saying is give this a font size of 3.5 M's and a margin top. Then the H3, which is the technology stack, bigger font size, font weight and a margin bottom. Then this down here, this is the HTML. Now I've not added this class down here, but we will add it to this thing. So class name is equal to styles dot html so this is just so we can style the div that is going to surround where we output our dynamic html so this we just say margin top 40 pixels not much to it then the featured image the div that surrounds that we give a margin bottom of 40 pixels so that's all there is to it now we can't really preview this component yet because it's not a page remember it's just a template at the minute and the reason we're creating this is so that Gatsby can generate project details pages for us based on this component. So for each of those pages it creates, it's going to use this template file. And we're going to see how to do that in the next video. But just very quickly, since we can't pass in property values to this and this just yet, I'm going to comment them out. And then later on, when we do have data, we will uncomment them and add that data in.